I would like to share some tips with you to get a good grip of this regulation. Start by downloading the MDR as a clean PDF. It's free to download on the web and then start to set up your own bookmarks in that document. Start by adding a bookmark with the name of the article for every 10th article and then for all the annexes. It is under the annexes that you find in the end of the MDR, you will probably find most of the answers to your questions on what to actually do to fulfill the MDR requirements. Then start adding the bookmarks of those articles you find interesting, such as, for example, Article 52, Conformity Assessment, Article 61, Clinical Evaluation, Article 84, Post-Market Surveillance, and so on. But don't forget the annexes. As I said, that's where the answers are. And if you are taking this course outside the EU, the articles 11 to 15 might be of utmost importance. Then name the bookmarks as you think they should be. Don't just copy the text of the articles from the MDR. This is for you to better understand what they are actually meaning. After setting up your bookmarks, I recommend you to start highlighting the requirements that you find interesting or related to you and your devices. Also add comments in the PDF, like for example, where there are reference to other articles, it's good to add a comment what the reference is actually related to, a bit like this. When you have the bookmark set up, I recommend you to have two PDFs open at the same time when you're reading the MDR, at least in the beginning, to be able to scroll between the reference without losing track of where you were. And my other tips, carefully read the annex related to the notified bodies and their process requirements. That is Annex 7, Section 4. This is very good for your understanding of what the notified body will ask you as a manufacturer and actually explains the way of getting your sought after MDR certificates.